All right. Hey, everybody. It is showtime. Yay. I'm going to lay this to the side. Have a fun little decoupage craft for you today. I don't think we've done decoupage. And I'm not really one for collaging because I find it very tedious. And so usually that's not something I want to do, but I saw this, I believe, um, on the, one of the YouTube channels. And um, I apologize for not remembering the artist's name. Um, but she does beautiful work doing glass bowls and vases and things like that with um, all sorts of different papers. And um, I thought, oh, that was so pretty. I want to try it. So that's what we have here. And I really appreciate everybody watching. This is Magic Mix Crafty Tuesday. I'm Christy Hickey, your host. And we're going to see what we can do today. This is a napkin. It's um, rice paper. It's a napkin made out of rice paper. And I'll show, I've got quite a few of them over here. I um, wrapped some candles with some of these napkins before. But um, isn't that pretty? It's the peacock tail print. So that's what I chose to cover the bowl with. And we're going to put the print where it is facing on the inside of the bowl. Hey, Lisa, thanks for joining. So when it's decoupaged, Oops, my camera's not focusing. Come on. There we go. Um, you'll be able to see the print on the inside. And then we're going to put a different print on the outside for that to look pretty. So that's what our little craft is today. And I could not believe... Like I said, I'm not one for collage, and I'm kind of like feeling my way through this craft, but I was astonished as to the different selections of Mod Podge, and they've probably been around forever. Um, it's just not something that I'm up on. But this Mod Podge is dishwasher safe. Yes, they claim it's dishwasher safe. So that's what I'm using on this. And this is a plastic bowl that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It has a really nice size to it. I want to read you the um, directions on this Mod Podge. I found it really interesting. It can be used on all surfaces, indoor and outdoor. Amazing. Top rack dishwasher safe, water base, non-toxic, dries hard, no tack. And that's important. And that's what I didn't like about Mod Podge because most of the time it had that tacky feeling to it. <clears throat> and why would you want to use it for the outside finish if it had a tacky feel to it? Anyway, it says roll the bottle on the table to mix. In other words, you don't want a lot of air bubbles in this stuff and apply it with a soft brush. This can be used for glass, ceramic, metal. Clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Apply finish to surface and back of design element. While wet, place the design on the surface. Dry one to two hours and add two to three coats. Allowing one to two hours to dry between coats. So we're not going to be able to see the finished product today. We'll get a, a really good start on it by putting the two um, prints on here. But I just thought, that's amazing. You know, this stuff has come a long way. 
I'm going to move the mouse cursor out of the way here. There it is. So, um, let's get started. I have some rubbing alcohol here. And let's move this out of the way. So I did a little bit of prepping for this craft prior to coming on to cut down on the time. And the reason why you're cleaning it to get all of the grime, dust, um, fingerprints, you know, your fingerprints have oil, oil off of your hands. That's what we're going to clean. I see some stuff on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and get that off right now. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back to the hot weather today. Actually, it started yesterday. Back up into the 90s, mid-90s. So, it is hot. Stay hydrated. Stay inside as much as you can. Let's see. There we go. All right. Um, the other design that I'm going to put on the outside of the bowl is actually a paper from Japan. And when I was over there visiting my son, he took me to this little store and they had hundreds of rolls of paper that these ladies were using to decoupage unique gift boxes. And I fell in love with it. I was just, I thought, oh, I've got to have some. And, you know, you're traveling and your route, there's not much space for a whole lot of souvenirs, but. This paper kind of feels like it's a cloth. It's not real heavy, but it's not light either. Um, it's, it's pretty durable. It has a white background. So that's what I'm going to use on the outside. And what I've done is I, I measured the height of this bowl, and it was six five and a half inches. So I cut a bunch of one inch strips that are six inches long. So that will bring me up here to the bottom and give me a little lip on the inside. And then to put in the circle here, I cut out this and that camera is having a really difficult time focusing today. That will sit here. So, let's get started. Feels like the alcohol has dried. And I'm going to take and roll this. I have a little sponge brush around here. Here we go. This is what I'm going to use to apply this stuff on. I picked this up at Joann's, the Mod Podge, and um, it was $9 for this little bottle, but I had a 40% off discount coupon, so that's the way to go if you want to use this stuff. Let's see. Palette knife is good for all kinds of things. Okay, now, this little brush here is 
thin, narrow enough. I don't have to worry about pouring it into a bowl. So let's put a light coat on. These would make really nice Christmas gifts. And I found this bowl in the, hmm, trying to remember the department of Dollar Tree that I was in. It was the, um, near the party favors. It wasn't with their summer clearance or summer things. It was with the party, you know, plates and stuff like that. So it might be something that they carry quite often or all the time. Uh, I want to, I'm not sure how long this stuff stays wet. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom with it. That way I can apply the second. And I'm going to have to kind of like, while this is being created, I'm going to have to think about the design on here and the layering of the paper. So we are going to create together. Have you ever done anything like this, Lisa? Are you, do you like to decoupage? Anybody out there? Do you like to decoupage? I'm real excited about finding this stuff though. Um, I know most of the multi-surface paints, you can let them cure for a certain length of time and they're dishwasher safe. Or you can bake the item and there's a process of steps that you do when you're using the paint. Um, you can put it in the oven at a very low temperature. I think it's like 225. You put your item in there when it's the oven is cool and as it heats up your item will heat up also and you leave it in there to cool down as well so it doesn't crack if it's glass but um, it's also dishwasher safe as well those paints after they've had a chance to cure so just about through with this process. And hopefully we'll get an afternoon thunderstorm, cool things off. The humidity will be high, but at least it'll cool things off, give the plants a rest. Okay. That part is done. And I know we're going to need more of that. So I'm going to take the napkin and center it, that little design. Hopefully, try to get it in the middle. Oops. Yes, it's tacky. It is tacky. Okay. This napkin is very delicate, 
So I'm going to tread lightly here. Don't want any wrinkles. Probably going to end up with some wrinkles though. When you're doing this, you need to take into consideration your print. Um, like this, the peacock feathers are two of them are whole and then the one on each side of it is cut in half so I'm going to use that as ooh, this stuff is so delicate um, I'm going to use that area to do the splicing. So I have two here. I'm going to, have to stand up. Hey, Susan. Thanks for joining. So we have two here. And then we have yes this stuff is so delicate okay Let's see here's our other two right here that are full so we'll lay that down Yep, we're going to have some wrinkles. I told you all, I am not an expert in this field. Um, I think that it requires patience. And very delicate hands. Let's see if I can straighten this out a little bit because we are going to have to have some splicing. Okay, so... Let's see, where are the other two? Right here. And this is where the crease of the napkin Oh goodness Yep, this will try your patience Got a nice little wrinkle right there. Let's see if I can pull this up Okay, now for the splicing. Let's see, let's go here to. Oops, wait a minute. Nope, oh, I got enough, another area here. This needs to go down straight.
I'm not sure if there's any stores in town that carry rice paper napkins. You could use the other kind of napkin. Um, I, you would need to separate them. These already are one ply, so there was no separating the napkin. And I'm going to I think what I'm going to do here is cut straight up. And these two will let's see here. Or I could go like that. That might be a better option. Like I said, I'm going to have to play with this while we while we were decorating and designing this. Well, I don't know. Don't like that. Let's put too close. And I can pleat this. Let's see. Okay, so we have three pleats right here. Let's see what the design looks like. So that's what it's looking like on the inside. do that all the way around pull this up very easily Let's do one in the middle here. If I can get this to cooperate. These long fingernails are coming in handy today. Nope, that ain't working. I wonder what it would do if I took the scissors and cut it. Let's see. Worked for the most part. I do have some wrinkles though. With this print being kind of a feather, it actually is making it look like it's part of the design. So 
that's a plus. Okay, moving right along here. I think I'll go ahead and cut this one. We have one over here. We cut both sides right straight up the middle. Then I'm going to cut the other side too. No, it's not wanting to cut. Okay. Then I have to fold it. That Mod Podge is already drying. So it's drying quickly. Let's put some right there. This thing's moving all over the place. Okay, we're going to make another pleat here. Right there. Pull this over. There. I think that'll lay down once I get another coat on there. We got one more to do here. We cut it up the middle. Yep, that stuff is drying quickly. It must be because it's so hot. Although I got the air conditioner on. I don't understand. So you have to work quickly. Oh, Ava's joined us. Hey there. How are you? You going to watch me get frustrated with this. I was just telling everybody that I'm not one to do a lot of tedious work. And let's put this up under here. This is tedious work. Isn't that weird? I mean, I don't mind paint, but something like this. Okay. All right. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. It's not bad. Even with the folds. Let's see. I do see some areas. This right here. I'm going to fix that. I have a razor blade. Hopefully I can just trim that out. Oh. Yep, you have to be fast.
the tissue paper is in the stage of being half wet and half dry. So it's not wanting to cut nice. Um, probably if I were to leave it alone, and let it dry and then cut it. I would get a nice cut. But I don't want to leave this on here. It's coming. there. Okay. Whew. Yes, it's sticky. <laughs> hey Pam, nice of you to join us. How are you doing out there? How's things in Kansas? It is Kansas, isn't it? Okay. All right. Now, I cut all these strips, and they are going to go on the outside like this. So this is going to be the decoration on the outside, which is similar to this here, okay? And this paper came from Japan. I'd love to go back to that shop. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous paper. All right. Now, since I know that this stuff is drying fairly quickly, I'm going to only put the Mod Podge on the area <laughs> of where I want the paper and not ahead of myself. Okay. And... This is about the right width brush, too. Oh, what's up with that camera today? It looks like it's turning. There. It is not wanting to focus. I am sorry about that. Um, I usually get the computer warmed up about 30 minutes before the show starts. And um, today, it was about quarter till that I turned the camera on. And Facebook was not seeing the camera. <laughs> I was like, not again, not again. Let's see, I think we need some more stuff. So after going back and forth and playing with it, I'm like, you know, getting stressed. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do if the camera on the computer doesn't work? And I was thinking of all kinds of backups. I could get the phone, do it on the phone. So I unplugged and replugged things back up. And it finally took, and I was like, oh, thank goodness, you know. So that's what we're going to do here is to go all the way around with these strips and probably take double.
double the amount. I want to make sure that they're straight. And I'm not going to be too concerned right now if they overlap the lip. Um, Because after this dries, I can there. I can trim it. It'll be a lot easier to cut when it's drying. When it's dried, I should say. All right, let's do a couple more here. So we'll have the peacock feathers on the inside, and then we'll have a um, oriental design on the outside. And this will pro will get probably about six coats. Of this Mod Podge because I want it to be thick and glossy. This is a gloss. So let's see, let's cover these up. Let's see what that does. I'm trying to get the paper in this. There's a little lip. I'm going to down there in that lip. Let's see, where's the palette knife? There. See, I told y'all, man, between this stuff being sticky. Well, let me use this. I'm trying to get the air bubbles out of it. Which I could probably use a bray or a brayer. I don't have one handy. So this is one of my smoothie cards I use for painting. Okay. Well, a couple of other people have joined us. Hey, Sherry. Well, thanks for tuning in, Pam. Let's see. When I get the hang of it, this is going to go a lot faster than what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm still trying to figure things out a little bit, I guess. Let's see. Put that right in here. All of the videos are archived on my YouTube channel. The quickest way to get there is um, YouTube Magic Mix. But you can also go to my website, ChristinaHickey.com. And at the bottom of the page, there's a YouTube button. Click on it and it'll take you right there. But there's a year's worth of videos there. That are archived. 
Let's see. And I'm just kind of pulling these things as at random. closer to you. So you think anybody's going to want to try this? Make sure you have some fingernails or something to grab this stuff with, that's for sure. Let's go here. All this stuff will need to have another coat, a good coat on the outside. Tell you what I wish I had is a damp cloth to wipe my hands off on right every now and then. The paper one's okay. So that's what we have so far. And this is the inside which this will all dry white. It's kind of um, transparent right now. But it'll dry white. And I need one here. And putting these things on as straight as I can from seeing it upside down. Oh, I've got a bubble. Just like wallpaper. You smooth it out, get rid of all them bubbles, and come back 10 minutes later and your whole wall is full of them. I hear wallpaper is on its way back in. I am so happy. It's a really nice um, decorating tool there. Gives stuff just enough interest that not overdo it. I've heard it's even more expensive than what it used to be, though. It's kind of sad. And it's made out of different substrate than what it used to be made. It's a little bit more durable. And some of them, they're claiming that you can take right off the wall. Get tired of looking at it, or if you live in an apartment somewhere, get ready to move you can just take it with you when they first started making wallpaper centuries ago um that's what it was it was like large um oil cloth 
and only the rich and famous had it. But when they had to move, they would have it stripped off the wall so they could take it to their next home. And the first wallpaper design that was discovered was in the shape of a pineapple, a very crude shape of a pineapple, but it means hospitality. So, who knows? I haven't seen any pineapple wallpaper yet. It used to be very, very popular. Now you could do this with gift wrapping too. Probably just about any type of wall, any type of paper. Let's see. I think I'll go. That stuff is. <laughs> I feel like kid with Elmer drying Elmer glue on my fingers. It's peeling off. This coming up week, Thursday, um, I'm going to have to do fluid art on Friday. I have an appointment that day that I'm not going to get out of in time to do the art. So we'll just move it to Friday. I hope y'all will be able to watch. So this is going to take a little bit of time here. Yep. Let's see. Let's go there. We'll do this one here. It is going a little bit faster than when it was when I first started. I was like, oh, I'm not sure about this. Huh. So once you get comfortable with it, it's not so bad. But I don't think I could make a living from it. No. Let's see. About halfway through. This is going to take a day or two to cure. Real good. And I think there's a certain amount of time you have to wait. I'll have to read the jar a little bit further down um, before you can put it in the dishwasher. Actually, I mean, you could just take a damp cloth and wipe it off if you didn't want to put it in the dishwasher. Is getting there, coming around the mountain again. It's going to be pretty. 
Let's see, Kelly's joined us. Hey, Kelly, thanks for stopping by. We are doing a decoupage of a very large plastic bowl. I hope I have enough paper cut. I did all that prior to the show. Oh, that's too much of the same thing. Let's see. There we go. Just to save on time a little bit. This stuff is peeling off like Elmer's glue off of my skin. It's adhering onto the bowl really well. suggest for your first time doing this start off with a smaller subject <laughs> so you don't get bored with it or find it too tedious some good creases right here. That smoothed them out really well. Let's see. And let's do another one. Right here. keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that I have cut enough paper the puppies up underneath my feet it's not raining it doesn't look like it's gonna rain he doesn't like thunder He usually gets real close to me when it's thundering and lightning and fireworks. Oh my goodness, fireworks was, oh, I couldn't get over with soon enough in my opinion here at the house. I'm just so scared. So we have that much more to go. And let's see, let's put gold one down.
what I'm trying to do here so it doesn't all look the same is to alternate the um, gold and the gray color. See, that stuff is dry already. This stuff is drying really quick. Amazing. this on the edge here when it's good and dry it'll turn hard again and I can take a clean fresh razor and trim it off at the edge of the bowl and it will have a very pretty finish to it here be a pretty wedding present for somebody or a nice gift for Christmas be something that um, gets you some real glass it could be handed down in the family. Let's see what do we have here? More gold. Oh, lots of gold. Here's a well, that's the same thing that's under here. Start out smaller. See, that's our bottom right there. Let's see what do we have here? Well, we're going on an hour here. Who would have thought? When I saw this little thing, I thought, oh yeah, we could, we could do that in no time. That wouldn't take any time at all. Surprise. Very surprised. Registration for the Fluid Art is still going on. We still have some slots available for the hotel discount and classes. It's going to be August the 30th through September 2nd. And love to see y'all there. It's 43 different classes. 13 instructors. 
It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have drawings, raffles, some seminars, lectures. Um, I've put the link to the website for you to check out the classes in the description. By George, I think we've got enough paper. Woohoo! Thank goodness. I did not want to have to stop and cut some more. And I'm sure there's some probably mathematical way I could have figured out to make sure I had enough, but why do that? <laughs> this is not wanting to stick. So the one inch strips worked out just fine. I think if I had gone with two inch, it would have been too wide. Two more pieces and the bottom. This baby will be, uh, I don't like that there. Let's do this one. This will baby will be done enough to set aside to dry. Like I said, I'll probably put about six coats. Of this on because I want it to have a really nice sheen to it. And. Help level it all out. Okay, sliding back. All right, now for the finishing touch, finally. Put some Mod Podge on the bottom here. And let's see a couple of little loops. Get that out of the way. And this is what our bottom is going to look like. Wonderful. All right. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Give this a couple days with some more coats on here. I will put up a picture of the finished product on the Facebook page. You can see right now that I'm going to have to go back to it and check for air bubbles. Let's see bubbles coming up. So that's interesting. I'm going to turn it over so y'all can see the inside of it. And um, there you go. Once it's dry, it'll all be white. 
like I said, it's like transparent right now. So not too shabby for the first time. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me. And um, I'll turn this over and probably get some of these cups. And I'm going to put this bowl on top of these cups because I have a feeling that as much stuff as it has on it, it would stick to the table, <laughs> paper on the table. There we go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you hanging out with me today. And um, you want to see something done? Let me know, and we'll give it a try. So I will see you Friday. Hugs. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Well, I am having trouble finding the mouse. <laughs> it's just one of those days with te technology today. Where did it go? All right. Thank you. Hearts back to you. <laughs> I cannot find it. There it is. See y'all Friday. Wow. Well, the camera wouldn't come on in the beginning, and now it's not wanting to turn off. <laughs> That's too much. And it's a touch screen, so it's not even working on the touch screen. Okay. I don't know what to do. Let's see. I've got to figure out some way to turn the camera off. Or stop the video, I should say. I can turn the camera off, but it's not going to stop the video on the Facebook page. Well, I don't know what to do. This is crazy. <sighs> hmm. I guess I could um just click off Facebook entirely. Might be what I have to do. Because it is not wanting to turn off. All right, y'all. Thanks again.